Let's read from the Word of God, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, beginning in verse 8. But since we are the day, let us be sober, having put on the breastplate of faith and love, and as a helmet, the hope of salvation. For God has not destined us for wrath. But for obtaining salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us, so that whether we are awake or asleep, we will live together with Him. Amen? Amen. All right, take a side for start real quick. I'm going to uh, be Nick Coleman today. He's doing a wedding for some folks up in the Dallas area, as I understand. Uh, you'll first notice in there this envelope. That says reach Texas. And you're going to hear some more about that later in the service. This is our state convention offering. And so as you've been through the hallways, you'll see some posters that say reach Texas. And uh, Becky has put their goal on there for you. $3,500 for our whole congregation to put together for uh, this offering. And you'll see a video later that will tell how that works. But as you look at the Cypress Heart, we want you to notice, if you would, uh, the OCAA. If you're retired and you would like to have a social outlet uh, to be able to get together with some other like-minded folks, uh, to play dominoes, to have lunch together, uh, that sort of thing, Monday through Friday, we do that program here at our church. The Orange Community Action Association has us as a site. And so they meet in the old uh, fellowship hall, and uh, they would love you to be a part of that. That's in the Cypress heart. Also notice on Operation uh, Christmas Child, uh, we're getting ready for, uh, we have school supplies today. Some of you already brought school supplies, and they're there in that box. Uh, but you'll notice today it says we're looking for next washcloths, bars of soap, and soapbox containers. Now... I want you to look at that article, if you would, and I want you to look at the quote in italics. This is from a young girl in Yuri, Honduras, and I'm going to read the quote. The toothbrush meant a lot because before I had to share my toothbrush with 25 other girls. Right? So, yes. This is important for some folks, obviously, and on top of that, they get to hear the gospel. And as they respond to Christ, they have the opportunity for basic discipleship as well. You'll notice on the perforated tab that's there on the Cypress Heart, there is a place to sign up for our church-wide dinner on Wednesday night. Uh, and we're having spaghetti this week. We want you to fill that out, put it in the offering plate as it goes by after a while. So that we don't know how much spaghetti to make. Right, Miss Sherry? Amen. She said she's making it. And we want you to also, if you're a guest with us today, we want you to notice the welcome on the other side of that first regular tab. When it comes to offering time, we'd love for you to take that, having put your information on it as our guest, to place it in the offering plate so it would come to me and we would have the opportunity to share with you some information about our church. Sometimes, as we preach the Word of God, people have a sense of urgency to respond in some way. Some people may not feel comfortable coming to the front and sharing with me how God's at work in their life, although we find that that's very, uh, a great help in some people's experience to have a sense of commitment to what God is doing and to make that public. But if you have a little struggle with that, we understand and still want to uh, speak with you about those kinds of decisions. And so you'll notice that there are decision information spots there. You can write down what's going on in your heart, and that will give me the opportunity to contact you and to be able to share with you uh, things that will really encourage you from Scripture, uh, possibly some books and materials that might be helpful in the area of interest that you have. Um, and I think we have some announcements about some choir and children's activities. Yes, we actually have started on our Christmas musical called the Christmas Offering. Love to have you come in. We meet at 7 o'clock on Wednesday evenings. Uh, so come join us for that. And also, um, 
You know, sometimes you say things that you regret. Well, this Wednesday night, um, we're, we're, we kind of we, we start every semester our uh, our uh, treasure island for our uh, grades one through six, one, one through six. And I told them that if they got 15 kids here on the Wednesday after Labor Day, I would take a pie in the face. Now, I said this. The preacher's amen. I said this when we had about eight there. Just try to encourage them to get more numbers. Last week we had 12. <laughs> so I'm kind of sweating a little bit, okay? Uh, so if you do come to choir Wednesday night, and we've had more, there may be a little uh, you know, power residue uh, in the hair. But, but the idea is we want the kids to be here so we can teach them the scripture, the stories in the Bible, and more importantly, we can teach them how to memorize scripture so as they grow, they hide that in their heart. And they can call upon that. There are times in life when you go, man, what was it? And then they have that memory to, to uh, call upon. So we do all kinds of crazy stuff. So uh, so uh, we're going to meet in here Wednesday night. Uh, so if you've got any uh, neighborhood kids that are just kind of hanging around, don't have anything to do on Wednesday nights, bring them to Treasure Island. We'll get them all sugared up uh, and send them home afterwards, okay? We have, we have a great time. Uh, so if you would stand with us as we, as we sing the solid rock. Okay.
Oh, my soul. Here we go.